Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jerry with Cigar Stream. Now today we're going to take a look at a special occasion cigar, one that I cannot wait to smoke. This is one that I purchased a couple months ago. I've been staring at it in my humidor since. Definitely looking forward to this one. And the cigar we're going to review today is the Padron 1926 Number no. 9 in Natural. Stick around guys. Reviews coming up. <laughs> If you're new to this channel, enjoy cigar reviews and cigar related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. All right guys, so as I said in my intro, this is what I consider to be one of those special occasion sticks. It's not the cheapest cigar out there. It's also not the most expensive. I picked this one up on Cigars Daily for $20.40. This size is basically a Robusto. It's a five and a quarter by 56. It consists of a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. It also consists of Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Now that wrapper on the cigar was aged between five and 10 years. It's a beautiful wrapper. It has a nice creamy brown color to it. Very very minimal vein you can't even see the seam lines on this cigar i mean it's just a gorgeous wrapper and that band on it for me just really pops what I like about this band compared to a lot of the other Padron bands is I know exactly what cigar I'm smoking here. It has Padron 1926 stamped across it. It's definitely a band that complements the overall design of this stick. Now, this is also a box press cigar, so I think presentation-wise, this thing is definitely a winner in my book. Gorgeous cigar, one I cannot wait to smoke. So on that note, guys, let's cut it up, light it up, and see how good it really is. So the first thing that jumps out at you is that this cigar definitely has a very peppery bite. It has more like a black pepper type of spice in that retrohale. As I'm talking now, I can feel that tingling sensation from that pepper in my nose. The draw for me, more of like a rich tobacco flavor to it. I really can't put my finger on exactly what the flavor note is, but there is this definitely this rich taste to it. Really interesting start. Definitely has a spicier bite than I remember, but it's been a while since I've had this stick. Looking forward to see how this one progresses, so I'll keep working on it. Come back with another update shortly. This cigar has definitely changed a lot in that first third. Now this is a full body stick. There is a lot going on. Overall, there's been a lot of changes since that first puff all the way to the end of the first third. Now initially when I started smoking this cigar, I pretty much picked up a rich tobacco. Now that flavor for me has morphed into like a mineral type taste. For those of you out there that have smoked Cuban cigars, there's this mineral S flavor that a lot of them have. This has a similar note. It's not the exact same flavor, but it definitely has some similarities there. The flavors I also picked up was a light coffee. And at one point I did get a light citrus it's more like a citrus peel though like a lemon peel or an orange peel but it had a nice citrus flavor in there and overall very rich flavors in the stick now the retro hell in this cigar has been a struggle i mean at first it was a very strong peppery bite it's one that bit my sinuses it, it had such a sharp bite to it it actually made the back of my eyes hurt it also at one stage made the back of my throat go numb fortunately that's calmed down now now those black pepper notes have dropped off what i pretty much pick up now is a spice followed by these sweet notes the spice still has a sharp bite to it it's just not as intense as it was before this cigar is a padrone it's smoking like a padrone and the smoke output is incredible the burn on this is not razor sharp but i did light it a little bit crooked it is a pretty solid burn line on this the ash on it is just amazing and i have to say overall no complaints with the construction no complaints with the flavors definitely looking forward to see how this one progresses so i'll keep working on it come back with another update shortly all right guys we're two-thirds down now this cigar has definitely amped up in strength it's starting to bite me a little bit nothing that's taking me out of the smoke nothing that's making me sick i'm definitely starting to feel the effects of the cigar it's also changed as far as the flavors goes as well now the first half of the second third for me is pretty much the same flavors i picked up that mineral taste that i described earlier i picked up a light coffee as well now it's morphed more into a dark tobacco flavor that flavor has a darker heavier taste but overall very good flavors in that draw that spice in that retro hell it started out with a sharp sweet spice just as it did in the previous sections now that's also mellowed out i don't get any bite in the spice now it's a very smooth retro hell no complaints with the flavors they're just a little bit bolder than the previous section but outside of that it's still very good flavors in this stick it's still the same old construction i mean great smoke output the ash on it's incredible the draw for me has been a perfect draw and one thing I didn't talk about in the previous section is the wrapper. The wrapper on your lips has a nice, kind of like a velvet type feel to it. 
overall i think this has just been a great experience two-thirds through it really looking forward to see how this one finishes off so i'll keep working on it come back with my final update shortly All right guys, I didn't run on this one and the smoke output did drop off a little bit in that final third, but outside of that, really no issues with this stick. Overall, it was definitely a great smoking experience. In that draw, I picked up a citrus flavor. It was a very light citrus, but I did get a citrus flavor through the majority of that final third. It was a little bit tangy and I also picked up an earthy taste as well. That retro health for me was pretty much just a smooth spice and I scored this cigar a 92 out of 100. For me, the flavors were very good. What took me out a little bit with the cigar was that the pepper was so strong in that first third price wise i think the cigar is one of those must try cigars if you never had it now it is a full body stick it does have a bite to it and i'm definitely going to have to go eat something here in a minute because i'm feeling the effects of this even at you know 22 dollars or 20 dollars and 40 cents what i spent on it it's definitely worth trying especially if you're celebrating something definitely give this cigar a try so on that note guys i'll see you on the next review